reality. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town. Mike on. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video today. We were flying on the Phoenix Airbus. Hopefully, everybody can hear me. Um, I've been having some issues with this microphone. Let me know if it's loud and clear or clear and loud. All right. So, we're back on the Phoenix. Uh, I have been studying this aircraft, I'm still not the best at it. But I am falling in love with it, and I am, uh, I'm not an Airbus person, but, like, this plane is making me an Airbus person. This is probably the best plane I ever bought, uh, in the simulator today. As far as a, um, commercial aircraft, it's so good. So, Country so Bunkin good. Simulation. Country Bunkin, Set. what? Ah. What's up? Just played Fallout 4 for the first time. Nice, Matty Iola. Matty Iola. J Aviation. Set. What is up, everybody? Hello, Liberty. So I didn't put J a Aviation. flight plan in Set. yet. So I'm gonna go to Hi, Liberty. Brief. How you doing? Welcome aboard. We're gonna try to get this uh, flight started. So let's go ahead. J Aviation. And try to go to Sim Set. Brief and start a new flight. A plan. rare sighting. Liberty flying an Airbus face with raised eyebrow. Yeah, dude. Uh, I, Matty Ayala. I am a changed man. Set. I'm trying to be an adult. Hello at Country Bumpkin Simulation at J Aviation. Yeah, man. P2 Symbiotician. What's up, P2? Set. Hello, hello, hello. I did get a sound pack for the CJR2 that I want to check out. Said. What's up, P2? How you doing, ahem, buddy? Ahem. Uh, Country yeah, Bumpkin dude, Simulation. I know, I know. But I, I, I'm a believer in the Airbus, Told man. him once I, he tried the Phoenix, he would be hooked. Dude, I can't stop. P2 I've been studying this for the last three said. days. I love how you are into Phoenix now. Dude, I can't, I can't stop with MRS this Phoenix. MRSTPHI-17. I, I really 17. love it, man. Said. Hello, everyone. Dude, hand this, pink waving. This plane is like the best plane I ever got. Hey, Mr. Matty TPH Iola. 17, how you doing? Said. Matty Iola, what's going Hello on? Hello, FP2 Symbiotician Man, at every... MRSTPHI 17. Everybody's rolling in today. What's going on, P2 everybody? P2 Symbiotician. Said. Sim brief, right? Hello, or, Matty. We need Navigraph, too, right? Dude, I'm telling you. Okay, so a lot of cool things coming out in the sim lately. We got the. Um, Real world turbulence. P2 symbiotician. I found a way. Said. We have almost the whole crew here. I know, right? MRSTPHI 17. Dude, for real. Said. Hey, at Matty Ayala, hand pink waving. So, dude, so many things I want to talk about today. Um, so many things. Like the. First off, the Airbus. I think I'm going to start getting accustomed to this and learning how to become like a real. Uh, pilot, you know what I mean? Because there's so much information about this aircraft out there, and it's just so beautifully made. By the way, I'm representing a Canada livery, just, you know, out of respect. So, um, yeah, this, this is actually helping me to understand aviation a little bit better. Because when you're flying, like, the Boeing and stuff, they're pretty easy to fly and stuff like that. But there's a lot of things I didn't know about aviation in the commercial industry and these bigger aircrafts that you're supposed to do. Probably I should have known this even for the smaller aircraft, but I didn't know there was so much detailing. With this aircraft, it's like uh, mind-blowing how much information you have to insert into this plane uh, for, TPHI 17. for it to work correctly. Said. Canada, 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 Canada. Yeah. Uh, today we're representing all of TPHI our 17. Canadian subscribers. Said. Hello, everyone. So, I don't have a flight plan yet. Set. And, uh... Air Canada Jets. We're not using this. Nice. So, we're gonna... That's the aircraft NHL teams use. Oh, really? Another one? Dude, I don't even watch sports. But I just like the black livery. It looks nice on this aircraft, right? J Aviation. Said. I'm still waiting for the Duke. I photoshopped and created the Boeing 757X. Oh, really? I put tilted A330 landing gears on the aircraft. Boeing 767 engines and A330 Neo cockpit windows on it. Really? I'm going to email it to Boeing and ask them. <laughs> P2 Symbiotician. Dude, that's so funny. Said. Hey, TPHI. Favorite Durham guy. Where the heck is my Navigraph charts? 
I just had P2 it. Symbiotushin. Said. Oh yeah that black livery is for their charter flights. TPHI 17. Said. Hello at P2 Symbiotushin rolling on the floor laughing face with tears of joy. Oh. J Aviation. Said. Oh look at this. We need more 757 variants. <clears throat> I gotta update the hubs for Navigraph. It says for... Update it, update it, update it, remove. Okay, so most of these are updated. Okay, cool. And that one, we're running the Phoenix, and it's updated. Okay, cool. J Aviation. So. Said. Hello, TV17 and everyone. All right, how do we do this? Where are... Where's my sign in here? We're going to change our flight plan information here. MRSTPHI 17. I don't have a flight plan in Set. yet, actually. Hello at J Aviation hand pink waving. So let's see now. P2 Symbiotushin. Said. A graph. I'm at Union Station right now taking the train to Oshawa. Oh, really? J Aviation. Dang, dude. Said. Greetings, comrade. TPHI 17. Said. Hello at J Aviation at Matty Ayala. Navigrate. Country Bumpkin Simulation. Said. There we go. At least all of your doors will stay on the aircraft. <laughs> Matty Ayala. Yep. Said. <laughs> Hello at TPHI 17. Uh, TPHI 17. How do said. We do a new flight plan? Late night at P2. We need, um. We need a new flight plan. Clear. Oh. Alright, uh, let's see. Where do we go for the flight plan information? Do I have to do the flight plan before I start? P2 Symbiotushin. Oh my God, dude. Said. At TFE, yes, meeting a friend after months. J Aviation. Ah, uh, maybe I do, said, yeah. I know the Airbus A320 blindfolded. If you need any help, I'm always there. Oh, well, then we'll probably need help because... Dude, do... All right, first... TPHI 17. First help. Said. Nice. First help is, um... Do we need to close for creating a new flight plan in SimBrief? before we get started with this is the first question I have we're not flying there so we're gonna fly um, a new flight from we're at KLAX right oops <laughs> K L A X to K P H X Phoenix Cruising altitude is definitely not going to be that. J Aviation said. We'll do twenty. Don't think so. No. Oh. Duran two real four TV balance scale. Said. Well, wow, that's a heck of Good a to see you, my guy. What's up, dude? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you too, man. I am trying to figure out. Let's see, sim brief here. Let's see. Do we have? Um, I'm pretty sure we can create a new flight plan, right? All right, here we go. So we're gonna new flight. I'm gonna go from K eight uh, P H X K P H X uh, from K L A X. Uh, we'll auto generate. We're gonna do the Airbus A three. Where's the A three twenty, dude? Am I missing the Airbus A three twenty? A three. J Aviation 20? said, "Yes, I'm from Germany, and Germans are Airbus nerds. Look oh. at Lufthansa's fleet face with raised eyebrow." Heck yeah! Dude. J Aviation 
We love it. Said. I. I don't know about us, but dead. Dude, I'm brand new. J Aviation. At this. Uh, said. Yeah. Asterisk. I'm all brand new about this Airbus, so bear with me, okay? Um, all right, so we need a departure, right? Um, so we're at LAX, and uh, I believe we're at gate 159, uh, I believe so. So um, we're going to have to generate a flight and see what it does for us here. All right. Alright, that is looking pretty good, right? But, I mean, don't we have to, like, uh, insert more information here? Like our departure and stuff? Phoenix LAX call sign, right? This is our call sign. We'll just have to add, like, a number in there or something, right? From KLAX to KPHX. Um, our air time is 57 minutes, uh, block time, 1 hour, 25 minutes. Alright, so, cool, that's there. Uh, now, the departures and arrival, how do we get that s inserted? Do we have to do that prior to flight, or we have to just um, pick a selection of departures and arrivals before... Let's see. This looks uh proper, right? Thirty minutes. We're just gonna check everything here. Route is valid. Route is, uh, do, do, do. find Sid and Star. Jet only. All right. Uh, let's uh, save that flight under uh, flight one. P two Symbiotushin well. said. You have to use Navigraph for Sid and Star. Okay. J Aviation. Sid. Be aware that if you reduce throttle lower than 20 to 25%, you'll likely start to stall lightly and hit the ground. Okay. Thank you for P2 that information. We'll Sid. have to keep that in mind. All right. I love you're using some brief. Matty Ayala. Heck yeah, dude. Sid. Got to step out. My cats knocked the laundry soup on the ground. Got to buy some more. Oh, okay. Sounds good, man. Take care of that business, baby. J Aviation. Said. Um, while landing. PH. Uh, that's not... I don't think that's what we want here. Let's see. Or let's reload this, right? Uh, cancel that. We're already cold and dark. Flight plan. Reimport. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're leaving in 27 minutes here. So we gotta set up the computer. P2 Symbiotushin. Alright, cool. Said. Landing is never an issue with Liberty. No, landing I'm good at. Uh, the rest of it is question J Aviation. questionable. Said. True. Uh, let's open the cargo door and at least start loading up the baggage, right? I don't know. J Aviation. Said. Especially with fly-by-wire airbuses. P2 oh, Symbiotushin. Yeah. Said, right. He can land an aircraft from 10,000 feet at short final beaming face with smiling eyes. <laughs> J Aviation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Said. You won't have to put up a fight with the yoke. No, dude. Not at all, right? Oh, crap. What am I doing? Did I just call for that to disconnect? Let's reconnect that. And Flyer Robin. Get the bag. Said. A 320 time again. Yeah. Alright, connect. Let's just call baggage service. Let's get the food cart in here. J Aviation. We're gonna just get this baby Said. going a little bit, you know? Hello, Meyer Robin. P2 Symbiotushin. Try to, try to get a little bit of stuff Said. going here. 
Hey, Robin. All right, let's connect that jetway, too. All right. Get rid of that for now. New flyer Robin said. Hello, all. All right, let's see what we're doing. Flying Robin, how you doing? What's up? Welcome aboard. Okay, we are cold and dark. Um, so, first things first, let's put on battery one, battery two. External power. J Aviation. Recorder said. On. Anyone exited for the Boeing 797, they're right. talking about it. Uh, flight recorder. Let the people know on the outside we're doing stuff. Dude, Flyer Robin. I would love to see it. Said. That's what she said. Cold and dark. Cold and dark. Yeah. You know it. You know it. Front stairs. Back stairs. Heat. Cargo doors. Oh, they're probably not going to open until we got to get the hydraulics J Aviation. working, right? Said. You see those three switches to the upper right. Switch Tejos. P2 Symbiotushin said I'm excited for any Boeing that can survive a flight J Aviation said the three ones on the above panel yeah the IRS yeah I'm gonna do it in a second here all right fire test complete oops I've been studying I've been studying I'll let you know if I need help so far, so good. J Aviation I said, <laughs> switch the three ones to NAV, yes. Yeah. All right, where are we at here? So, we can... Uh, flight info. Request flight data. Boom. Bet you didn't I bet you didn't know I knew that. Let's see uh, what our plan fuel weight is. I've been studying a little bit about this plane. Just a little. Alright, let's see what we got for her. I I actually love this thing, man. You can learn a lot with this, right? Where's our planned fuel? Does anybody know uh, how much fuel are we supposed to take? We're going to LAX one hour. It says here five 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 seven. Block fuel is five seven eight seven, so we'll take six thousand. So uh, fuel. We don't need that yet. Let's put the fuel in, right? So where's the fuel first? Uh, we could do from and to, right? So we're going from LAX to KPHX. J Aviation said it took the 737-900ER to Newark after that one incident. United is in favor of those. Flight level. Yeah, right. Uh, our number for our... Generated number for our flight is up here too. That's gonna be uh, G F E. Let's just go with um, F E X E X, right? So F J Aviation said door dashing away through J what is it again J F E we're just going to do the full flight N X alright N X alright and then we'll do a number for our so our call sign will be N X 757 I guess Right, so that's good. We don't know that yet. We gotta put in the information for the takeoff and all that. <clears throat> so, let's see. I 
I need fuel, right? Block fuel. Where's our fuel? Info. Next. Zero fuel weight. We're not putting that in just yet, right? Right there. J Aviation said, I'll be back in five. I'm surprised that you can start that thing up professionally. Oh, bro, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. We'll give it a shot, you know? I mean, it's an Airbus, so it's not that difficult, right? Let's see. Uh, we just gotta find the block fuel weight here. Um, I'm trying to put in the fuel here. I think you have to go flight plan. Um, uh, uh, or in. Alright, next. Trip. We don't know the center of gravity. I don't want to put that in until we put the fuel in, right? So, where's the fuel data? Oh, here we go. Nope, that's not it. Oh, what is this? We don't need the wind data just yet. Once we get our flight plan in, we'll do the wind data too. P2 Symbiotushin said, I am just loving watching Liberty walk through the Airbus like a pro. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I, I definitely studied it. I just don't... <clears throat> I'm still getting familiar with the FMC, to be honest with you. So, our departure... We can do departure... Let's see, what runway are we close? Uh, does it tell us what runway to depart here? Flight plan, information. Okay, we're departing right here. 24 right on... P2 Symbiotushin uh, okay. said, You're inspiring me to buy the Phoenix and learn it. Bro, it's awesome. It's freaking awesome, dude. I would definitely recommend it. So it gives you all the information right here if you look, right? So uh, this is our route. Um, I think... I'm not sure if this is the information for... It says route ID, right? And then we have LAX. Uh, we're taking off 24 right. And it says dot .552. I'm not sure which one of these waypoints are a reference for our departure. So I don't know if we have to type each one of these waypoints in or what. Uh, looks like Phoenix, uh, or in, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, we'll be landing on 26. So, we'll depart 24 right from where we're at. So, now we just have to look for which one of these stars gives, gives us over there, right? I'm not 100% sure how to do that. So, what we'll do is we'll look up the runway. 24 right. And we'll click on that, and then that will give us more options, I believe, of which one of these uh, get us out of here. And we could probably check that on the map as well. So, dot, uh, I don't know if it's hydro, dot, dot. Okay, so here it is right there. So this is dot SS2. That's the one we'll be using for departure. And we can go ahead and insert that, and that will give us our departure. <clears throat> so now if you look, we'll be taking off from 24 right, and we can go ahead and uh, zoom out here just to see our departure. So that's us right there on the runway. Our runway looks like it's behind us, and we take off out to dot. That's our first uh, star out before we pick up our rest of our flight plan information. Now I'm going to make a simple flight plan as possible, considering that um, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I want to make sure that I'm not going to screw this up too badly. Uh, for our arrival, let's see if we have any arrival information. 
We could insert our wins. We need block fuel 700, right? Or seven. We're going to take seven. Let's just take uh, 10,000 pounds of fuel um, just to be safe because I'm going to start up the APU. I'm going to probably be running that for a little bit. I don't know uh, everything. I want to make sure that we're going to be doing everything properly. Um, and I'm not the best at this. Okay, so that's our last waypoint. Uh, Phoenix coming into Phoenix. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't give us any information for that yet. Let's see if we can find that. Really, we can we can pick one. All right. J Aviation said. Liberty, you know the Denim A320 has an interior. Yeah, we're going to go check it out in a second. All right, so here's uh, Sky Harbor, right, where we're coming in, the winds, uh, information, um, HD J Aviation one said, Phoenix. Yes. So let's see what HD RR1 is, right? What's the arrivals here, right? So let's say we're coming in from left, and uh, what's the arrival, H? These are the three arrivals here. I don't know what a good arrival would be in. Um, let's see if we could see that on Navigraph, maybe. That way we can uh, kind of see what we're doing here. <clears throat> so here's Phoenix, right? Um, here, oh no, this is not. Uh, where's our other one? Option. Unload. Clear. Uh, LAX to. Is this it? No. That's not it. So we can <clears throat> unload, import. J Aviation said, "I got an option to take flight lessons on a Cessna 172." All right, there we go. J Aviation. All right, we found said, it. Pa 28 or Cessna 172. Hmm. Oh, really? Cool. Check that out. Okay, so here's our arrival. Select the approach, right? So now we can go ahead and select the approach. And that should help us here before we insert anything. So I selected... Uh, that's cool, dude. Are you going to do it? Um, I selected this. Right? Let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> On here. Is it going to show me, or what? Alright, there we go. Alright, so... <clears throat> it does show us... Our final approach on 07 left, and... On there, right? So... Zero seven and I want to make sure I don't screw it up, you know. Hydro, so these should be our waypoints in here. So if we use zero seven and insert zero seven. All right. Twenty four right from LAX. I can actually probably put the rest of these in, right? I don't know why any of these are in, so maybe we just uh, insert them. 
Our departure should already be in here too. Well, we have our departure, so we don't really need that, right? Our departure doesn't look that. That's not the departure we're using, actually. Sorry. Let's see, where can we pick up? So we're coming out here. We could actually pick up any of these waypoints. Let's see if we can insert our own waypoint, right? So, um, let's start with uh, W I I L D. I want to see if I can insert one after our waypoint here, right? So, 24, no flight plan. This is weird. Let me see if I can reinsert this real quick. We can uh, get the winds too, right? So. guy said what's up cool guys guy? I'm taking lessons at Millville Municipal in New Jersey every month and I'm just a kid it's so fun I love it oh that's awesome dude man we're just gonna go there and light so I want to make sure everything's up to date here. Alright. There's no incongruities there. All right. So we only have to this point. So how do we add the new waypoint is the question, right? So we want to insert another waypoint here. Let's see if we could do that. So after, <clears throat> I just want to see. Okay, so we're gonna we're not taking off from 24. We're actually taking off. Um, open chart from a different transition. Okay, that's not even the one I want. All right, so this is confusing me. Let's just move on for now all right i got the flight plan we got our departure uh and now i got to connect an arrival the arrival is uh the thing that i need to do next okay so let's do arrival and uh do that and then we already did arrival right but Here's something left. P2 Symbiotushin said, Plan the arrivals and departures in Navigraph to make sure they work with your flight plan. Yeah, dude. I did. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. Where's Navigraph again? It disappeared on me.
yesterday I did a full flight plan and uh, man we might not even get off the ground today guys but I'm gonna try I, I don't know guys this uh, let's go to Navigraph again this chart alright <clears throat> so we're not departing 24 we're departing information ok we don't want information so how do we get that oh, ok 20 what are we departing on again We're departing. Okay, 24 right. We are departing 24 right. Okay. Right? 24 right is our departure. Dot, which is not the one that I have for our departure. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's good. This and this, we're good. Arrival. <clears throat> it wants us to arrive here, right? We don't have to do 07 for our final, even though it looks okay, right? But how do we get the rest of this flight plan inside of this computer is the question. How do we import to the FMC of the... How do we import the whole flight into the Airbus is the question, okay? Because we have everything we need, including our arrival on 07 left. We have to go HYDRR1 arrival, right? So, how do we get our arrival, that arrival inside? We have the one we need. I just need to insert it into the flight management computer. And uh, I don't see it available here. When we go here, and then we go to arrival, now, it shows this uh, next. Here's the stars. Okay, so do we have it? Up, down. Oh, here we go. Up, maybe, right? So, do we have Hydro? Hydro 1, there it is. Okay, so, there we go. Hydro 1, boom, insert. Okay, execute. All right, now we have something, right? There we go. Now we're looking like uh, we know what we're doing here. Is, let's see. But I don't see the waypoints for 07. Is there something different about the Airbus that I don't know? It looks like we have dot. Yeah, it looks like dot, right? Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. Can I have, uh... Can I have some salt and pepper? I'm trying to figure out this Airbus, but it's complex. Alright, how do we get... How do we insert the information into the flight plan from Navigraph, right? We have to update it? We definitely gotta update for... Thank you. Um, let's update... Where's our flight then? Brief, pilot brief is going to be a little bit different, right? Phoenix flight plan import. All right, let's see if I can re-import it, or should we leave it? I don't know. I just don't know how to connect it. Like, how do you connect the flight? If we reach out here, there's that and that we need to connect, right? So, if we look in here, where are we screwing up here? H, Y, here, right? We need to get rid of that. How do we get rid of that? That's the end of the flight plan, yeah? 
LAX down down this right here is what we got to get rid of right yeah plan, plan. so what's in between these two that's what we need dot Gaywin Grimm said Grimm and what's up dude what is up uh <clears throat> Nothing much, dude. Just trying to figure out um, how to do this flight plan. This transition is not correct either, right? Open chart. No, not the chart. Open. That's not the... I don't think that's the one we wanted, right? Oh no, this is right. Never mind. P2 Symbiotushin said, Grim, what's up? Gawin Grim Block. Okay. said, I can't get the FMS to work. Gawin Grim really said, Hello at P2 Symbiotushin. In what, in what this in the Phoenix? Because I can't either. Uh, I'm trying to figure that out right now, dude. Uh, I, I am literally trying to figure this out, man. It's driving me nuts. I, I studied this Gaywin plane Grimm for like four hours, man, said, trying to figure this out. Too many buttons. Yeah. I don't fly jumbos of any kind grinning face. Yeah, dude. 340 it, Aviations. Said. I will be on the plane next 330 hour. It's Airbus A320. Thai Airways. Okay, cool, man. Have a safe flight. Look, do not use... Whoops. That never stopped us before. Hmm. Three forty aviations said, Thank you, smiley face. I don't understand how to connect these, right? So we have a flight plan. I don't get it. What is this? Boom, boom. And we go there. Our next destination after there is... P2 Symbiotushin. Let's go here, right? Said, just delete the flight discontinuities. Yeah, but <clears throat> this one's not that simple. No... Here we go. Dots after dots. We'll do uh, B, L, C, K, uh, D. Ooh, yeah, we got something. <clears throat> what the heck? All right, so what do you have to type each one in? All right, let's try to type each one in and see what happens. All right, so that's blocked, right? So boom, and then we'll insert. 
Boom. Okay, we did that. Now we'll go to the next one. Let's try C N E R Y. Put it there. What the? Mm -mm. What the freak, dude? Gawin Grimm. Oh, you know what? We'll put this said, in. Have a safe flight at 340 Aviations. Alright, let's just put this in. Insert. That will be our halfway marker. Why is it not showing, though? This thing is pissing me off, bro. Look, we got it right there. All we need to do is connect that, but how? Let's see. Uh, clear? No. How do you delete that? I don't get it, bro. Where's our inquinuity? Our screw-up here. Invalidate. Right here? Right? Gawain Grimm said, Take the longitude grinning face import from Simbri for the wind grinning face. Fix. What's a fix? We're gonna get this. I don't care. Alright, see? So, what if we... Can we do that? And use that as fixed information? Or are we supposed to use the fix for... Um... That. <laughs> what... What the freak, man? What is a fix, anyway? Anybody know? How do you delete an inquinuity in this? Does anybody know? So this is what we got to get rid of, right? So the only way to do that is maybe to insert that in here. So we'll do B, L. It doesn't look like you could delete stuff, so let's try to insert it. Okay, boom. Let's see if that will work, right? No, it didn't work. So uh, how do we get rid of this thing is the question. How do we delete this? How do we get this out of here? Can we copy this? Airway, no. Um, return. This is clear. Clear. Invalid. Delete. So it won't let you delete it. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm stuck here. Let's try the next one, right? Gawain Grimm said. I have not flown without being in a stream in like two months. This is supposed to be over here. So that's not even right. I shouldn't even be here. <clears throat> what the heck is a fix though? What the heck dude? You haven't streamed in two months? Nah, dude. You, it's, sometimes you need a break. Alright. If I only knew how to get rid of this, right? Gawain Grimm said, I have streamed. Gawain Grimm said, just not flown other than in stream. That plan. I know someone, there's a way to do this. I forget how Gawain to Gawain Grimm said, getting sick of the issues with MSFS. Oh, really? I know. It's always screwed up. Or is that ah crap? Where'd he go? 
Ah, come on. Just when I thought I was getting somewhere. We need to fix? What the hell? How do we get it to fix here? What's the viewer? That's gonna do anything for us. I know there's a way, I can't remember. Gawain Grimm. I can't remember, guys. Said, I don't know. Yeah, I think I am going to take a break until 2024, then I can fight with that mess for a few more months. <clears throat> I guess... There's a way to get rid of that, I just really don't know how. I wish I could clear that. Swiss Aviation said hi backslash hey Swiss what's up dude welcome aboard I'm deleting stuff and uh, yeah we're, we're gonna go ahead and Gawain Grimm figure this out said right hello at Swiss Aviation ah no look I screwed that up so we gotta get rid of that right so Swiss we, Aviation. We don't need that in there. Said. Hi. How do we close the gap? How do we close the gap? I know there's a way you can make your own waypoint too. I need to close this gap here. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I need to close that gap. All right. Whatever. We'll just hit, maybe we'll just have to do it in the air. We're going to get on with it. Uh, it's going to give us an issue eventually. Uh, whatever. Request data. Okay. Box. Request lens. This will update our wins. Boom, there you go. Insert wins. Now we're good for our current flight time. Alright, we're probably 12 minutes before um, departure here. So, I guess we could start loading aircraft, right? Real time. We'll do 20 minutes because it's going to take us a little bit of time to finish up our information here. Uh, boom. We're going to need. Uh, we're actually going to need this calculator too, but we we got to put in the fuel, and then we got to calculate everything. So let's go get fueled up here. Alright, do, do, do. where's our fuel? Zero fuel. We, we didn't put the fuel in yet. We need to put the fuel in. We're going to take 10,000 pounds of fuel here. Where's our fuel? I don't know if this is going to do it or not. Alright. Look, it keeps going back down. So, I think you have to do it from the FMC. Matty Ayala said, Hello at Gawain Grimm. No, we need fuel. Holy crap, we need fuel. Gawain Grimm said, Oh boy. 
Hello at Matty Ayala. Ah oh, man, we're freezing. Don't do it to me now. Gawin Grimm said, How are you this evening? Just Airbus. Come on, man. It froze. Why isn't it working? It did this to me yesterday. I got it all set up and then it crashed. Come on, man. Don't do this to me now. Come on. Don't freeze on me now. Come on. Matty Ayala said, Okay, just doing some long distance flight. Dude, it's freezing on me right now. Freaking thing. Come on, man. It's not allowing me to move the camera right now. Did I do something? Ah, oh, no, it froze, dude. It froze completely. Son of a gun. Why? Ah, oh, dude. I had issues with the Phoenix freezing yesterday, too, man. Matty Ayala said... No. Gawin Grimm said, Bummer disappointed face. That's freezing on me. Son of a gun. This did this to me yesterday too, the same thing. I got it all set up and it crashed. Microsoft Flight Simulator is freaking annoying. Nothing is working in my computer right now. I can't get the mouse to even work. Oh, wait. Here we go. Resume. Why is it doing that? What the... F Dude, Microsoft Flight Simulator, get your shit together. What the fuck, oh, man? I'm so pissed off at this thing. Gawin Grimm. I don't get said. it. Bro. Look at this. MSLS 2024. Bro. Microshaft loading simulator. Seriously, what the heck, man? Look, it's still circling right there. It didn't crash yet, so I don't know. It looks like it's still functioning, right? It, it, it was cycling for some reason. Oh my god, guys. This has really pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie. Why? Why does this just do this all the time? I really love the Airbus, but I don't know if my computer, uh, I, like, I gotta clean it up or reboot it or what. But it's been doing this. Hmm. Man, are you serious, bro? <sighs> mm. All right, well, I don't know. I have a CJR sound pack. Should I try that? Why is it so crappy, dude? What the heck, Microsoft Flight Simulator? What is going on with this thing, dude? They're getting ready to release 2024, so they're making this as crappy as possible or something? What the...
Hold on. Gawain Grimm said, Memory leak. Hold on, I'm going to try to do something. Matty Ayala said, You play through Steam. Um, no. I have OBS. Steam sucks. It always crashes on me. I used to have Steam. Hold up. I'll restart it. I don't know what the heck is wrong with this thing, man. I just updated it. Like, it just updated recently. Like, they just literally updated this, and it's still a piece of crap. Dude, I love Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I'm, like, uh, 10 seconds away from just switching to X-Plane forever and never talking about uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator again, dude. It's really starting to piss me off that they can't um, get this thing to work properly all the time. Like, what's the point of buying these planes and paying all this money when nothing ever works, bro? It's, uh, I guess everybody has these issues, right? No. I'm, uh, I'm playing off, oh! Yeah, I think it's on Steam, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, I think it's on Steam, sorry. Gawain Grimm said, That is a big issue with me. Having to load two to three times so I can stream. Lucky it's not crashing. Dude, I haven't had a I haven't had any issues for a while. But the Phoenix uh crashed on me a couple times already. I have to have my brother-in-law delete a lot of stuff, I think. Sometimes I don't stream for a couple days. It's because I'm trying to fix my computer. Man, all I wanted to do is fly the stupid Airbus. And I can't even do it. <sighs> it aggravates me, dude. The question is, do do we continue to try to fly? Gaming Grim. It's already said, nine o'clock, man. Hug every single Demios Inc. plane as an update. Bro, I Gaming Grim. I know, said, dude. He needs to calm down. <laughs> dash seven two. Matty Ayala nah, no, I'm said, not the Dash I had trouble playing the sim on Steam, that's why I deleted that option. Um, how do you delete playing on Steam? Let me see if my brother in law is here. He's probably never gonna help me, he never does anyway. See. He helps me sometimes, but I think he's sleeping. I'm just aggravated. Alright, let's see. Now we gotta do this because every single time you load into Microsoft Flight Simulator, they want you to do this now, which is such a pain in the butt. Still never fixed that issue, and it's been two updates. Like, come on, man. Is it. The Phoenix? I loaded all of the liveries on the Phoenix. Do you think it has something to do with that? It's too many? I'm sorry, the Should I delete them? Uh, of course he's not answering. Son of a bitch. Alright. Okay. Let's get rid of some of the liveries. Maybe that will help the frame rates with this. I'll take out some of the ones that I'm not going to use, I guess. Matty Ayala said, Nope, that's fine. Gawain Grimm it's not delivery, is said, Could be a livery. It's acting like a memory leak. Oh, really? I loaded all deliveries on purpose. 
I'm going to go ahead and delete every single livery except for the ones I'm going to use. You know. In the meantime, uh, I'm sorry about the Airbus situation, guys. Uh, you know. Maddie Ayala said, I could be wrong, lol. I didn't think deliveries would have anything to do with it. Maybe they take up too much memory. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have downloaded all of them, you know? It's heavy, the Phoenix. Gawin Grimm said, I have no idea, but leaks like that are usually aircraft specific. Maddie Ayala said, The plane itself is very detailed. Maybe you need more rams. Maybe. Could be right. I might have to delete some of my older planes that I don't use. I think I'm gonna clean my computer. Dude, the Phoenix is crazy, right? Uh, let's see what the sounds are of the CJ uh, C RJ. I downloaded a sound pack. Let's see if it changes anything. I want to see what this thing sounds like. Sad day when uh, you can't even get the plane to fly, right? I don't know if that automatically loads or what, dude. Headphones are off. Oh, yeah, it does sound different, right? Sounds good. Maddie Ayala said, It's my biggest fear to have a crash on a long distance. Maddie Ayala said, Sounds nice. Dude, this is the new uh, sound pack for this aircraft. Let's go ahead and take the brake off. I just want to hear what it sounds like. It sounds a lot better, right? Listen, listen to the inside. Oh, 
it sounds good. Whoops. We're gonna crash probably. Uh-oh. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, worst pilot ever. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. It sounds really good, the CRJ, with that sound pack, right? Dang. It does sound really good. We should never... Dude, it sounds good, right? Matty Ayala said, you get that at the Microsoft Store? Yeah. Yeah, that sound pack is that new one that came out like a week ago. Why is it not pulling up? Pull up, pull up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Yeah, you need a lot more room, I guess. But, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see. I'll sh I think uh, I'll show you what it's called real quick here. Let's get out of here. Dude, it sounds good, though. It sounds really, really good. Oh, dude, by the way, this looks awesome, right? I kind of want to get this. What is the sound pack? I bought this sound pack for the CRJ. And uh, it sounds really good to me. Um, I should uninstall this. Like, I never use this. I don't even know why. How do you get rid of these things, dude? Where is it? Where's the sound pack? It should show here, right? Deluxe upgrade only. Oh, this. This is what I bought. It's good, dude. The Boreos audio works for the CRJ. This I never used it yet. This is the first uh, time that I tried it. But so far, man, it sounds really nice. Let's uh, let's try to get some more testing done with that real quick here. I was gonna do it in a separate stream, but since we failed at the, you know, we. We just found, I could, I, you know, let's see if I could get a better uh, runway with more. I want to, I want to take off and uh, test this baby out um, and see how it sounds. Because it, it sounds pretty good, man. I love the CRJ, dude. CJR CRJ It sounds good though, right? Dude, let's try cold and dark and start it up and see what it sounds like. All right. Aircraft. Um, is it not going to let me do cold and dark? What the heck? Oh, 
Okay, I pressed cold and dark. No? Ah, whatever. Let's just take off and see how it sounds. I like it. I love this plane so much, so I wanted to definitely get the sound pack because this aircraft is absolutely amazing to fly and do like these regional flights with it. So I thought this would be like a really good idea to, um, you know, include it. Let's get the gear up. Flaps coming up. That's the gear just land uh, came up. Flaps coming all the way up. And we'll try a uh, landing with it too. It's such a beautiful aircraft, dude. Try to get that angle of attack down. Sounds great, right? Matty Ayala said, Sounds great. Sounds really good. You never really realize what uh, an impact the sounds will have. I think I loaded too many liveries in the Airbus. Because it looks like the sim's working, and this aircraft's working fine. Matty Ayala said, Have you tried the A300? Gawain Grimm said, No. The one for the 172 is amazing. The sound pack? 172. What are we talking about? The uh, Is it a sound pack? Boris Audio? I did not try that I'm just going to turn around I want to see what it sounds like on landing Gawain Grimm said yes the sound pack no I have not tried that the uh, 172 uh, what aircraft is that is that a uh, the Cessna 172 have you tried the A300? Um, I think. So I'm putting a little bit of flaps here. I'm pulling back the engines. Gawain Grimm said Cessna 172. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I did not try that. Is it good? Dude, the sounds are really nice. I don't think I'm going to make this touch down here. Let's try to put the gear down. Lab's coming down. Get this nose down here. We're over speeding. Fighter jet status engaged. Pull up. One thousand. Pull up. Pull up. Five hundred. Four. Pull up. 
so it gives you all the sounds and call outs. Let's see how the reverse thrust sound here. Oh, it sounds good, right? Reverse thrust kick in now. Dude, it sounds good, right? Oh, I like it. The in dude, the inside sounds very, very nice. Dude, I would definitely recommend um, the CRJ uh, and that sound. It just takes it to that next level. Wow, that is really good. I think I've been on a CRJ before um, once. This sounds really nice. So this is me braking and powering. It kind of helps because you can hear the, the engine, right? Said, I've cleaned too many of them. Dude, that is really good sound. It sounds a lot better. Let's see how it sounds shutting it down, dude. It sounds, Gaming Grim. It sounds a lot better. Said, I always liked the CRJ because it was pretty quiet with the engine so far back. So this has got to be one of the best ones so far, as far as not having any issues. Easy on frame rates. I love it. <clears throat> I'm going to continue to do my uh, work on the Airbus offline, but we got some ways to go. I can fly this one, no problem. Um, and I really, I think this is, th this is becoming more and more my favorite one, you know? I just wish, uh, dude, if, imagine if this was more like the Phoenix with this tablet Gaywin and everything. Grimm. How cool would that be? Said, just took off from Lax, laughing face. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, let's shut it down and see how it sounds. Um, should we put the APU on? put the APU on here and we'll shut down let's see is the APU running yet hold up not bad, right? I don't know. Oh, I didn't realize that they had uh, the seatbelt signs sound better too. The switches sound better too, right?
The sounds are definitely better. Not bad. Caleb Ribeiro. I don't know. Said, what do you guys think? Dang, you finished your flight. Uh, I didn't finish it, dude. I didn't even start it. The uh, Airbus crapped out on me, so uh, I gotta, I got some work to do with that. I'm gonna have to figure out why it's not working we're gonna go through my computer and I'm gonna um, yeah I'm gonna figure this out dude uh, I got I got some work to do I got some work to do Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it, but uh, yeah, we'll be back for another one hopefully soon. Uh, I got some work to do on this other end, and then uh, I'll be back for some more. I'll be putting out some videos, but I'm gonna try to clean up my computer and do some things. I thank you guys for watching. I know this was a little bit uneventful. Said, but how many HRS are on your pro field? Dude, you're asking questions I don't even understand how to answer. I'm not sure, buddy. I have no idea. Uh... Oh, hours? Oh, uh, sorry. Maddie Ayala. 665. Said. Profile. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was thinking the computer. Uh, I got 665 hours. Caleb Ribeiro said, I got 88 HRS. Yeah, dude. Hopefully, Caleb Rivera. Hopefully we'll hit a uh, thousand eventually. Dang. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, man. I, I'm, Matty hoping, Ayala. I'm hoping to hit 7,000 soon. Nice. A lot of hours I put into this. Offline and online, man. Most of those hours are flown in the stream, man. I shared the, uh, all this. Yeah. I'm hoping to get to 700 hours, dude. I got a... A lot of flights. <laughs> 665 hours of flight time, guys. It's a, uh, it's not 1500, but it's a lot. We're almost there. Still going. Gaywin Grimm said, "I am at 1,300." Whoa. There you go. Grimmin is killing it over there, man. He's supposed to be flying all day. Yeah, I had uh, like 300 hours in a different one. Uh, I had bought this sim three times. So I had 300 hours in one and like 200 in another one. And I probably had more hours than that. But um, they, Maddie Ayala they don't all calculate. Said, so. I can't tell you mine LOL, but it's a lot LOL. <laughs> I can imagine, dude. I can imagine. I, uh, I don't know, man. These are just... Uh, the flights that I've been doing for like the last three, two years, three years, you know. Yeah, yeah. Damon Grimm. I always see him flying. Said, you fly a lot at Maddie Ayala, grinning face. Maddie must be just on the computer every day, all day, baby. And he, I wish I could do that, dude. I need to get myself back in that Airbus and work some things out. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is a pretty uneventful one. Uh, a big failure on my part. I'm sorry. I don't know. Should I leave this public or uh, 
take this stream Matty down. Matty Ayala said, Once I finish flying it'll show you on Discord. Gawin Grimm said, Okay. <laughs> have a good one, oh slash. Hey, you too. Uh, have a good one, everybody. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you for watching. Caleb Ribeiro said, I made a big mistake when buying MSFS. I bought the Captain Scam 777 300 ER. Oh, yeah, I did Maddie that. Ayala I did that too. Said, That guy's. Uh, good night, Liberty. Good night. Caleb Ribeiro. Caleb said, Ribeiro, thank you, man, for but hanging have out a good with one. Us. You too, sir. Caleb Matty Ribeiro. Ayala, thank you. Said, I appreciate you guys. Matty Grimman, all of you guys for hanging out with me. P2 Simulations, uh, Flying Robin, uh, J Aviation. You guys are the best, man. Thanks for hanging out, and I'm sorry that I am a failure tonight again. Once again, the Microsoft Flight Simulator has beat me once again. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.